Hi, and thank you for watching Word From How He's At The Lab right there. Because it feels corny. Hi, how are you? Hi, it feels funny talking to the camera. And I'm not actually talking to anyone, but I'm pretending that I'm, I'm visualizing that I'm talking to my audience. And I'm still getting to know you all. Because y'all ain't been commenting a lot. And I don't, I don't get to interact with my audience a lot. I don't know what my, my audience is. But y'all real low-key and laid back. Y'all just lay it in the cut. Y'all don't say much, you know. Just the day of the video, y'all might comment, but after that, you know, it's just just a few, the same three people comment. That's it. That nobody else. <laughs> and I'm grateful for all my uh, subscribers. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for watching the video. And this is uh, th Word from Wise, episode 11. I call this one. Hitting that lick. <laughs> Not the bus driver. <laughs> He's like, dang, what's she been doing while she was driving? <laughs> Not the bus driver. But uh, a passenger that I pulled up on. Young man. Dark chocolate. Young man. Kind of heavy set. Couldn't have been a day over 13. He had on some dusty Tims that had a hole in the toe. You know, just a typical young man. I want to call him a kid or a child. Because he... He looked like a he looked like he was about 13. He looked like a child until he moved. He moved like a man and he had man eyes, you know. But like when you when I was right driving the bus and I first was rolling up on him though, you know, he looked like a little boy. And then when he moved and he moved and he got on the bus and he looked me in the eye. When he got on the bus, he looked at me like a man. And everybody on the bus got quiet when he got on the bus. He put his money on the bus. I gave him a transfer. I said, how you doing today? And I said, good morning, young man. I said, good morning, everybody. I try not to say, how you doing? Sometimes I slip and I say, how you doing? And you should never do that because if you say, how you doing? It leads to people telling you their life story. And you ain't got time for that. And you ain't got time to even tell them that you ain't got time to tell. You know, look, I ain't even got time to tell you that I got, <laughs> you know, okay? So anyway, he got on the bus and he, he got on the very, very back. And I've seen him a few times before. And I talked to him, and I watched him get older, actually, y'all. You know, that's the bad part about being a city bus driver. You you get to see people change. And uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, you get used to seeing the grown people change. But when you see the little children, the young people change, it, and, they, and they get harder, and they get more street and more urban, it, you know, it kind of breaks your heart a little bit. It's like, I remember when you used to go to school and try to do the right thing, and you was a square like me. I remember when you was a square like me. <laughs> he said in the very, very back, but I said, uh, I said, good morning. And he said, uh, just hitting that lick, ain't he? And he turned around and, you know, walked to the back of the bus. And I was like, what is that? At the time, I didn't know what that means, just hitting that lick. And why does everybody call me ain't he? I wasn't, I ain't that old. They've been calling me 18 since, since I was in my late 30s. I was like, I, I still look like I was in my 20s and they just called me 18. In Portland, Oregon, I don't know about other cities. In Portland, they cause they start calling you 18 as soon as you get about 25 out, chill. What the? <laughs> so anyhow, he gets on the very, very back of the bus and I watch him, you know, and I was like, what do you mean hitting that lick? And then the, the few of the grown men, there was like maybe three or four grown men that was on the front of my bus you know, a couple of them was winos. They, I, I'd see them all the time, you know, and they was talking and acting normal and stuff until the young man got on the bus. And when, and another thing, when he got on the bus, he looked at my Tims. I had on some Tims, too. He had on some Tims that was all dusty and had a hole in them. And I had on some Tims, and it looked like we had the same size feet. And he got on the bus, he looked at my shoes. He said, where you get those shoes? And I said, "Those are, these are my shoes, young man. And he was kind of making me scared the way he was. kept looking at my shoes all hard. He's like... The, like my size, where you get those shoes? Where you get those shoes? Those are my shoes. I said, these are not your shoes. 
And then, uh, no, that was another, I'm talking, I'm mixing up another, that was another occasion, okay? <laughs> so anyway, he gets on the back of the bus today. He didn't say nothing about his shoes. And he sat down. One by one, the winos that was on the front of the bus, the brothers, got, on the bu got out the front of the bus and sat in the back of the bus. And he was on the phone all loud. And, uh, and, and he was talking to somebody. And, and talking about what time he was going to be. He, well, he, uh, he was talking about what time we was going to be at Rose Quarter Transfer Center. And I think he was going to be there like 1230 or something. He kept saying, I'm, I'm on the bus that gets to Rose Quarter Transfer Center at 1230. Hit that lick. And then he hung up the phone. And one by one, I seen him reaching something out of his hoodie. He had a hoodie on. He was reaching something, taking something out of his hoodie. And he was handing it to people. And people was handing him money. And then they would put it in, they put whatever he had into that little package. I, I don't even sell, I don't know what kind of drug he was selling y'all. I heard it was weed. But, 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 uh, he, he said, hit that lick. And he said, hitting that, hitting that lick. No, he said, hitting that lick. And now uh, when he said, hitting that lick, two or three people got up, grown people got up and went in the back of the bus. I'm like, <laughs> and they sat down by him and he was openly counting cash. And he kept looking at me in the mirror, like, are you going to, are you, are you, you know, <laughs> and I was a little nervous, and I was scared, I was like, is this child on the back of my bus selling drugs, what do I do, do I call the police, you know, I ain't going to do that, because, you know, by the time, for one thing, by the time the police come, he been got off the bus and be gone. But then I got to see him again. I got to be in these streets. These are things you got to think about as a city bus driver. You just, just drive the bus and mind your business as long as he's not hurting. You know, nobody's back there getting stabbed. Or there ain't no fighting. Ain't no, ain't no reason for me to call the police. And so I didn't know what to do on this child, y'all. I was, I was really kind of frozen. So I ended up developing a, 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 a back and forth with him and, and then got him to stop selling on my bus. But, but, but initially... He treated this like like this was his time slot. It didn't matter who was driving the bus. This was his time slot because the way he said, I'm on the bus that, that gets to Rose Quarter Transit at 1230. Like, if this is the same bus, you know, like, like he just, he didn't knew the program. You know what I'm talking about? Excuse me, I had to take a drink of my coffee right there. <clears throat> So yeah, he gets on the bus and he's hitting that lick one by one. He's selling drugs on my bus. And then he gets off my bus and he gets on it again, like maybe like maybe a week later, same thing, gets on the bus. I said, good morning. He said, just hitting that lick, A.T. And I was like, why does he keep me hitting that lick? And he sit down, he's on the phone all talking loud, talking about hit that lick, hitting that lick, hitting that lick. I got dimes. I got dimes hitting that lick. Yeah. Yeah, all right. He... Looking at me in the mirror. So, yeah, that was uh, my first encounter with a child that is a drug dealer in Portland. I, 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 it, it, I ended up encountering two or three or more of them in my career. But that was the first child. And, uh... I, I ended up talking to him, and he stopped uh, selling drugs on my bus. But I said, "Wait, you gonna be driving soon?" And uh, he said, uh, his eyes got all big and all glowy. He said, "Yeah, I would like to be driving soon." But it turned out he was only fifteen, only fourteen. He was fourteen. He was fourteen. And uh, he said, "I'm only fourteen. I, I'm too young to get my driver's license. You got to be sixteen or something in Oregon." I was like, "Oh, okay." But uh, let me tell you, y'all, I. I Remember the last time he got off my bus and I hadn't seen him for a long time. I don't know if he's dead or alive or in jail, but I remember thinking, I wonder if you're going to live long enough to be driving in these streets the way you live in, you know? It was so sad to see somebody that young hitting that lick, you know? And the way he said it, hitting that lick, just hitting that lick, ain't he? Hitting that lick. Yeah. So thank you for listening to my bus story, y'all. I got so many stories about people that I saw along the way, saw them grow, saw them go, they come back. Oh, and I did see him more times on the bus, and, he, and there's some incidents that he's in. So uh, I don't know what to call this young man. I don't know his name. And so, but he's going to pop up in some more bus stories in the future. I. 
Thank you for watching Word from Wise Bus Stories. And uh, by the music, by the way, the music playing in the background is uh, by Verified Picasso. It's called Trap Picasso. I found it uh, inside a YouTube audio library. So just want to give them a shout out for having some music that was conducive to me. Relaxing enough to tell the story because I'm still trying to relax. I had a dear friend tell me, say, Angie, you're not as relaxed on YouTube when you tell a story as you are, you know, you tell a story in real life. You know, you're not as relaxed. You're not as real. And I was like, really? So I said, let me try to be less structured and just talk more in my story. So, and I got some stories that are less conventional that I, I'm going to tell. But I, I call this one hitting that lick. And this is a story about a young man that I watched selling drugs on the back of line 72. <laughs> He didn't hurt anybody, but everybody was terrified of him. All the grown men, he was a real thick young man. And the grown men act like they was afraid. Everybody was afraid of him, myself included. Very, very scary young man. But turned out to be just a little kid when you talk to him and, you know, treat him like a person and tell him, look, I really prefer you not to do that on my bus. And he was like, all right, ain't he? And I ain't had no more problems out of him. Still rode my bus from time to time to go to point A to point B. So that's one thing about the streets of Oregon, streets of Portland. Or I think the streets, period, no matter what city you in or town, whatever you put out in the street comes back in the street. You treat people bad, guess what? Bad incidents come back to you, as you'll see in my next story about a bus driver who didn't know how to treat young people, whether they're straight, square, Rough around the edges, you gotta, you ain't gotta love up on them or nothing. You ain't gotta be their mama, their daddy. You ain't gotta be the police. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta be the the, the principal. All you are is the bus driver. Your job is to take them from point A to point B. Long as they're acting safe, whatever they're talking about, long as they're not uh, violating any rules and using excessive profanity, because that's one of the, believe it or not, that's one of the rules on the bus is not to use profane language. And I tolerate it. It just depends on the atmosphere and who's on the bus and the time slot and time of day and a whole bunch of other variables like that. But generally, my I'm no nonsense and straight lace. Everybody knew ain't he, okay? Didn't play that. If there's a, you see an elderly people on the bus or little children, then you can't be back there, nigga, 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 cussing, bitch, bitch, fuck, fuck, nigga, 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 nigga. And you can't have all those scoops on the bus, you know? So you have to tone that down. So anyway, uh, yeah, I got a story coming. The next one is about a bus driver that didn't know how to handle young people when they were on the bus acting unruly. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hitting that lick. <laughs>